All right guys, John with the ProCut and the next tool review unboxing that we're gonna do is the Doyle 6-in-1 ratcheting multi-bit screwdriver in the stubby form. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. We've got our Milwaukee Fastback Utility. Let's go ahead and get this Doyle open. We'll leave it set here for you guys to check out and it is rugged high torque ratchet reversible ratcheting mechanism high strength s2 steel bits it's got a number one and number two phillips it's got a quarter inch and a 3 16 inch slotted and it's got a quarter inch and a 5 16 inch nut driver it is product Item number 56673 at your local Harbor Freight, and it is manufactured in Taiwan with a lifetime 100% guarantee. So it is going to be a little bit better than your standard products over at the Harbor Freight. It is Taiwan manufactured, not Chinese. And so it's got three positions on the ratchet. You've got locked, and then you've got ratchet to the left, and ratchet to the right, and you got your number one and your smaller slotted on this side, reversible, with the quarter inch nut driver, and then on this side, you've got your larger quarter inch flat slotted, whatever you want to call it, and your number two Phillips and a 5 16 nut driver on this end. And these are ball detent bits that go in here. It's not just a standard bit. And so I don't know if you could use a regular bit with this or not, because it's not there's no magnet or anything in here but it's a nice little stubby compact driver you can still get a nice grip on it it should come in handy in a few situations so i've picked it up and we're going to be putting it to the test here over the next few weeks and uh, i'll do an update and let you guys know what i think thanks for watching like, comment, and subscribe. Stick around for more videos. Now we've got our little Doyle ratcheting screwdriver. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the number two, because that's the right size for this. You can see it works very well. So loosen up this screw. And then you can get in here and loosen up these other parts as well. There you go. So thanks for watching this series. All these tools were bought and paid for by John at the Pro Cut. None of these were freebies from the manufacturers.